Hello. Welcome to the first week of the month demonstration. And today we're going to paint this. And if you have any questions, uh, please uh, let me know. And this is a, a mostly it's very warm. The whole scene is warm. Uh, it says have a little bit green at the front over here, but mostly yellow, red, and brown have a little bit more cool color on the side over here. So we're gonna looking at that, but mostly it's a warm autumn scene. Something I want to talk about first and about the value arrange. And in the background over here, mostly over here, it will be light color. So we're gonna keep that. We're gonna start from lighter and to darker. But before we're gonna start uh, the painting, we need to mark the area of the girl so that we're going to leave that alone. Don't want the painting into this area. So for the faster process, we are not going to use masking fluids. So we're just going to paint around this. Let's take a look at the top of the head of the girl. It's about just about the mid, the middle uh, the page of the height. We can make it a little bit higher. Yeah, we can move a little bit higher like that. So decide on one thing first. And the bottom of the foot would be half to the bottom, right? That right over here. So we're going to decide on that. This is good. I'm going to put it right here. And also thinking about because she, her, her body moving a little bit forward. So is the leg would be just a little bit um, off center. Okay, this is the head. So the leg over here would be on this side. So this is not, uh, we maybe even make it a little bit more, uh, slightly a little bit more onto this side. Okay, that's good. All right, that's just pretty good. Now we're gonna take a look at from this is it looks like it would be the bottom of the skirt and from here that would be the middle over here that would be very much the the line on the back of the skirt and right over here this is good and from here to the top and the bottom of the head and the dark color it would be also half right so everything like a half 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 it's very simple Okay, this is good. Now we know exactly the location of this. And then we're going to connect the things together. So from the bottom over here, coming up, it's just this shape. You can see that? That will be become very, very simple. Like this shape. And coming over here, like that. That's the shadow side. Okay, very simple. When you think about drawing the object or drawing a person, you don't need to think about is the object or the person. You just think about uh, the line, the shape, and the shadow. Okay, that's good. Right here. And that's good. Right there. And then have the outline. And for the members, if you need me to prepare also a, a line drawing for you to use as a reference, let me know. I can prepare that and upload it to our learning center. Okay, here we go. That's the arm. And also, all members can download the reference now. And for temporary, uh, a limited time, uh, the non-member also can come over to download that and following that with us that it's going to be closed very soon. So if anyone on YouTube, if you think about, oh, mm, I want to take a look at what Enjoying Art is and what kind of thing we offer over here. And just come over to visit us. Okay, here we go. And this is good. So I'm going to have the hair coming down all the way in the back over here like that. That's good. Uh, almost there, right on this side, because we start a proportion from large to small, so everything should be in proportion. Okay, that's good. That's a little bit look like a little big triangle going all the way down over here, and here you go like that. That's pretty good. A little triangle over here, 
and we don't need to worry too much about the details. You just need to mark the area that we need to be protect, and that will be fine. Okay, we when we go to the smaller and smaller, we will get into the detail. Okay, the sh the shoe over here need to a little bit more toward this side. Okay, spend enough time. Okay, don't rush. Here you go. That's good. Now I see the girl is running forward. So making sure in one way painting, it's okay to paint into the head, but it's not okay to paint into the white dress. So unless you're preparing to use the uh, gouache white, but no white is more beautiful than the paper white. So if you can re retain the paper white to keep the, the white of the paper, that would be the best. Okay, this is good. And we're going to have a little bit tiny eraser. I'm going to have that erase a little bit line over here. That's good. Like that. Hello, Peter. Oh yeah, we're seeing each other every day. Um, and this is good. How's the hand over here? Yeah, that's good. All right, now I'm going to just roughly uh, preparing. That's the uh, the top of the row right over here. We don't have to draw too much. Okay, that's is good. And. This is the leaf coming in. This is a very beautiful leaf. And watercolor, we're gonna paint a little bit lighter before we paint the darker colors, so general. But this is not always the case. And this is uh, painting by painting and different um, purpose. Okay, this is good. And this is the tree coming up over here. That's the tree trunk, like that. And those coming up over here. That's just a little bit darker color over here, a little bit cooler. And that, this is good. And like that, this is good. And everything, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, in the background over here, it will be mostly light. You see that the darkest color over here is not going to be as dark as the color even here, right? And the front over here, we're going to create the contrast with the value. So we have this is a much, much darker that we're going to do a little bit later. Okay, so we're going to see that a little big window over here. Not actually a window, but it's just a little opening right over there. And I have a little bit light color over there. This is good. And we're going to have the tree coming up. So we don't have to draw all of this. If you've done enough drawing, uh, have enough confidence, it's okay. It's just going to add to it a little bit later. Okay, this is good. Dark color and the cast shadow under her as well. Like that. All right, this is good enough. And uh, uh, the head may be over here, the angle, but we don't need to worry too much of this because the hair is uh, darker than the background. So it will be okay to painting into the head. All right, let's do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do for this painting, I don't do that often, uh, but I'm gonna wet the entire paper for this time because I want to make the background over there to look softer, okay? So that's just for the purpose for that. But most of the time I don't. And I'm also I'm going to wet around the shape of the girl. And this painting can go really, really fast. We're just going to boom, 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 and maybe it will be fine. So now I see that looking at the corner of this brush, and here you go. And for the face, for the head, uh, we, don't have, we don't see the face. But the head, it's just going to be blending into the outside. That will be fine. Okay, here you go. Like that. That's good. So the color can all the way coming into the edge of the dress. Okay, that's good. Like that, the shoe can be also wet into it. That will be fine. Okay, but the leg, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna have a little bit, a little bit wet in between. Okay, that's pretty good. All right.
Okay. Very well. Now, I'm going to do it very fast. Start from some yellow color, right? I'm going to take a little bit yellow. I have a little fresh yellow color over there. So I'm going to make it a little bit thinner. So I'm going to take a look. Just put it right in here. Okay, there's some yellow over there. And here you go. So those color. And, and also over here in this little gap. I also have a little yellow color. Have it open like that. This is pretty good. And now I actually adding more water into the paper. Can you see that? And I have more water. So here we go. Also the back over here, I'm going to have a little bit of orange color. So after the yellow color, I'm going to add a little red. And when I have a little red, it will become orange. So I'm going to tap on it. And here you go. So but we're going to keep the back, the background, the middle over here to be a little bit lighter. So here you go. Like that. And over here, have some little red color into the background. Okay. And we're going to also have a little bit more green color uh, as well. Okay. I'm going to have a little bit even thicker color. So I'm going to have a little bit more red. Have a little bit more yellow. Okay. A little bit thicker now. And can you see that? Now I'm going to have that little bit thicker orange color. That's just good. And I'm going to have a little bit. Hmm, that's a little bit gray. So I'm going to have this just a little bit lighter, like that. Okay, it doesn't need to be so much. So coming down over here. And on the other side, I'm going to have a little bit thicker. I uh, get a little bit more yellow. And the red, I uh, get a little bit thicker. So here we go. I'm going to have that. This is a little bit closer to us. This is, this is considered very close to the, uh, the foreground. And even though this is behind the tree, this is a little bit, and I got a little bit more red, and down over here as well. Okay, I want to feel the atmosphere, the strong, strong impression of the autumn, which is we are already in the season. So here you go. I'm gonna have that. Okay, coming up a little bit more like that. That's good. And now in the front over here, and I'm going to have a lot more red, and right at the front over here on the pad. And we already done a, a demonstration, uh, a study uh, with uh, oil painting already. And but uh, for that painting, we didn't actually put the girl in. This is a, a improved reference. It just created it. Okay, here we go. Now looking at the edge over here and looking for, that's good. Now I'm going to actually make a little bit, a little bit stronger uh, yellow and yellow orange color. I'm going to put it right outside over here. You see that? That's outside over there. I'm going to put the onto the head. That's good. And this is called painting by painting the outside of the shape. Okay, there's, here you go. Like that. I'm gonna have a little bit more yellow. Okay, a little bit red. That's a little bit warm yellow. Here you go. Like that. And going the outside over here, take a look at coming in a little bit over here. Okay, here you go. Now, just use the corner of this. Coming in, the shoe we can away. That will be okay. Now you said create that the created definitions by having the color in the outside. Okay, that's very good. Take a look on this side. I oh, need to do it a little bit faster. We're gonna keep that the wet into wet. I'm gonna on this side. Okay, and this brush is pretty good control. So if you feel a little bit uh, need a little bit more safer by having a smaller brush. You can use the calligraphy brush now. And here you go. I'm going to just use the corner and take a look at the corner over here. And looking down, you need to come down a little bit more. That's good. Like that. Beautiful. And now the, the gap over here. That's good. Like that. Mostly we're painting actually with our mind, is not the brush. 
Okay, this is good. Okay, now I'm going to continue coming over here. Let's get a little bit more yellow and coming over here. Here you go, take a look. Come a little bit yellow over here too, a little bit thicker yellow. And see that, a little bit yellow right there. But don't make it too, like a really thick, like a toothpaste. And don't really need that much. So I'm going to have a little bit yellow here. And here we go. And the front over here have a little bit and a little bit red and coming over here. That's just the foundations of that. I'm going to have a little bit more yellow and the red. Okay, here we go. I'm going to have seeing the, the, the leaf at the front over here. And this, here you go. That's just good. You can put this all like a flat color. Okay, get a little bit more red. Okay, there's orange. Okay, here you go. The orange right over there. More red. A little bit more red at the top over here. Here you go. And also leave the edge over some little bit gap and the and the top over here. Like that. This is good. Okay. And we're gonna have a little bit darker the brown. But over here also leave a little bit gap. You're seeing through. We can see in the inside. Okay, that's good. That's good, like that. And we're gonna come back. You see that right now it looks like everything's so loose where this is exactly supposed to be. We're always paying abstract before realistic. Okay, here you go. Uh, here you go. We're gonna have a little bit more depth depth as to the corner over here. Uh, this brush should make you feel more like a let go, loose, and don't worry. And I have a little bit more yellow. Okay, that's good. I have a little bit orange right in the middle over here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now I'm going to come to this side. And I'm going to have some really red. Okay, I'm going to come to the corner over here. I'm going to have some really red and some blue color as well. And look at it. Okay, here you go. A little bit more yellow. And... And you, your mind actually uh, strip off all the information and reorganize them in a different hierarchy. What you're going to ping first, what you're going to ping next. And here we go. Now I'm going to have a little bit more red with this blue color. It will look more as a dark red color. Here you go. You see that? That's very good. Like that. This is good. And the shadow. Okay, keep going over here and still leave a little gap over here. And the bottom, yes, we're going to have some even darker shadow. Like keep a little wet over here. This is good. And now since we have this color, we're going to have a little bit more yellow mixed into this uh, two color. Now it become a little bit brown color. So this is perfect. Now I'm going to have a little bit water. And here you go. We're going to put that color right in here. And here you go. That's just a little bit shadow in that. And keep that. We're going to add a little bit even darker color uh, after. Okay, here you go. A little bit more. That's just the shadow. Okay, here you go. Just use the corner of this brush. Just moving it like that. Very easy and simple. You see the color actually in a different order. I'm going to have over here. And here you go. Still see through that and you're going to see the layer uh, seeing the light and dark and it's going to over here and we can actually have a little that wait until it's a little bit dry before we're going back over here making something a little bit more clear but keep that in mind right there it's not going to be so so uh dark i'm going to have a little bit lighter here you go like that a little bit lighter and over here too, a little bit lighter. So they feel like a little bit more like a light brown color. Okay, that's good. And I think it's getting there. And when you when you can, always squint your eye. And you can see things a little bit better that way. Okay, here you go. And keep your attention into the connections, not the, the small object. So I think this is pretty good. We're going to uh, 
let it dry it. Uh, so we're gonna come back to those area and get a little bit more. And now I'm gonna use the click of your brush. Okay. Uh, if you're looking for this pair of brushes, I actually have a link over here for you to look at. And at, on the left hand side, this is the address that you can come to see uh, what Enjoying Art is or what Young is teaching uh, on Patreon. So take a look at over there and there's some free content for non-member. But if you want to join us, you're going to have a whole lot more of interactions and classes, access to the entire uh, learning center, and which is where also building up the collections uh, areas on Patreon. So we're going to have that presented to members uh, in a few days. And we also have lots of club members uh, into, into the weekly meetings. So come take a look at what we do, okay? And on the right hand side over here, it is just the place that you can see how to use these brushes. And also, if you want, you can order and try our brushes. Okay, this is good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to still continue working on, to, on this side. I'm going to start introducing some cool color. So the cool colors is get the blue. You can use the blue color uh, for the cool color. I'm going to have a little bit more uh, yellow into it. And I want to get a little red if you want to. And now here we go. Now I'm going to have to open this brush up a little bit like that. And here you go. Now I'm going to have it and a little bit closer. I'm going to have like that and st st step on it. So step, 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 step the color on. And this is the, the green color. We will even make it a little bit darker, but we're going to make the darker color later. So right now it's a step a little cool color in here. Okay. At the end, you're going to see all how the, all the thing connected together. Right now it's just have a little bit dry shape. Okay. Like that. I have a little bit more blue in here. Here we go. A little bit darker. Okay. This is good. Like that. Here you go. I'm gonna do a little bit quicker, a little bit faster, and there you go. And get a little bit more red in here. So, that's, that's just good. Like that. Okay, that's the, that's enough cool color. And also gonna have something on to this side. And we're gonna have this a little bit cool color on this side, have a little bit blue and get a little bit red because otherwise the color may be just too, too uh, bright. So here you go. Now I'm gonna have on this side, this is, a, this is getting dry already. So I'm gonna have that really quickly coming over here. And here you go, like that. And I'm gonna have a little bit uh, tissues. I'm gonna have that make a little bit drier. The brush. Now here you go. Just tap on the middle of the brush. Here you go. This is good. And that's good. And like that. Have a little bit. And this is have a little bit over here. We can add this, some darker color in a bit. Okay. That's good. I'm gonna have the line as well. A little bit over there. I see that. Now you have the warm and cool color all together. And this is pretty good. And we're going to have a little bit more orange color. So I'm going to have that a little bit more orange. Clean the brush. That's just good. Just get the red and the yellow. I'm going to have a little bit, a little bit more of the orange color in the middle over here too. That's just good. Here we go. Now I'm going to have this. A lot more red, okay. A lot more red. You see that there's lots of red. I think the sun is right behind this area, like that. A lot more red. So you, if, if you ignore seeing the, seeing the um, uh, the dark color, and you're actually seeing this is what behind the uh, the branches. Okay, this is good. Now it's getting there. The things that come together, right? Now I'm gonna have the little red color. 
Yeah, coming up over here. Star coming up a little bit. Now we're getting into. Yeah, this is very interesting. And I have a little big, a little big soft color coming up over here too, like that onto this side. Okay, and yeah, like that. And this is a little big. It doesn't need to be so much color. A little bit brownish color, but a little bit very, very light. So I'm gonna let go some of the color. And here you go, like that. A little bit lighter. And this is a very far away. So don't have to have that much clear or that much very contrast. Okay. So this is here we go. I'm gonna get a little bit more red. Okay, here you go, like that. Okay, this is good. Coming up over here. This is good. Have a little bit more. Let's see that in the gap over here. Okay, this is good. Have a little bit the line like that. And now seeing the top over here. Yeah, seeing the here we go. This is good. And here you go. Have a little bit, a little bit texture. And I can also have a little bit more red. Just a little bit tiny, tiny, little bit more red. And here you go. But does it need to be very connected? And see a little bit over here. And also, it's a good idea they have it right outside the arm, so we can make the arm even pop a little bit more. Okay, here you go. Now this is good. Have the figures showing a little bit more, like that. That's good. Like that, right? And getting a little bit more and more. I'm gonna make this just a little bit, just the tree trunk over here, just a little bit darker, like that. And have a little bit, a little bit thin line. Here you go. Come into that. So welcome you come back to um, uh, to look at the video again, and you can follow this step and to working through this. Okay, this is good. Now what I want to do, uh, I'm gonna have a little bit more brighter yellow, just a little bit yellow like that. I'm gonna tap on it. Now it's getting a little bit dry, so I'm gonna tap on it. Just seeing that some a little bit more clear uh, yellow shape. Okay, here you go. That's just in the background. Okay, like that. There's some drier, wet uh, color. Okay, this is good. Okay, this is good. I'm gonna even have this. I'm gonna open this up a little bit more. Make this just a little bit softer, like that. Uh, here you go. Make a little bit softer. That's just good. Like, like a mystery over there. So I'm gonna over here have a little bit softer here too. Okay, there here you go. Like that. Looks just very nice. And come continue with the yellow and the red. And now here we go. Now it's a little bit orange right here. Okay, here you go. Like that. And coming onto this side. So we're showing the pad right here. There's the pad over there. So this is good. I have a little bit texture in the middle of the pad. Okay, that's good. Like that. And now take a look on this side. I have a little bit texture over here too. And it's very nice. That's good. Okay. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna have a bit of texture. Okay, here you go. Now I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a little bit more yellow at the front over here. So here you go. Just look like this is still a little bit wet. So this is good. But I'm gonna try to create a little bit more. Uh, feeling of the softness. So I'm gonna have this actually a little bit come up a little bit. And that's good. Okay. I'm gonna, since it's still, still a little bit wet, this is great. We're gonna use the yellow orange color to push the color a little bit away. And you can use this, like push the color a little bit away. And here you go. Set. There, see that? That's just a little bit yellow color. I push the color. Okay. And we're gonna add the darker color in the middle and then we're showing a lot better. So right now, we're just gonna have this yellow color and push that. Have a little bit more yellow, a little bit more wet as well. Okay, there you go. That's good. Okay, that's good. A little bit more yellow, like that. And now we're gonna have a little bit more clear uh, texture uh, very soon. 
And now, this is pretty good. Now I'm gonna make this side a little bit darker. We're not ready to put the trees on yet. That will be very soon. I'm gonna have a little bit more red color. The red color with this blue right in here. I'm gonna get a little bit more blue in here. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put that right in here at the bottom. A little bit more blue. Okay, here you go. And that is look a little bit darker. Okay, here you go. And also at the front over here, have some texture. Okay, that's good. And very well. And if you have a toothbrush, you can also create a little bit more dust feeling at the front over here. So right now it's just going to tap, 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 and have a little bit more texture right over here. And a little bit more clear. Okay, here you go. Now we're gonna create a little bit more at the distance, I have a little bit more softer. The front have a little bit more clear. So I'm gonna have a little bit more red. Okay, here, a little bit more red right here. Okay. okay, this is good. Still a little bit wet. Okay, here you go. And take a look at right under her. That's the cat shadow. Okay. Okay, that's good. A little bit dark color coming down over here. Okay. Here you go. Now I'm gonna have, you have to a little bit more red. I can you see the lot more red in here. And there's a lot more red even in the tree trunk. Okay, like that. Have a little bit glowing with the red. And also this area also a little bit more red. So feel like this area and getting a lot more, but we don't want that to be so much. I'm gonna soften that a little bit. Remove a little color away. But this is the area that getting a very, very bright. Okay. Okay, this is pretty good. Okay. All right, I think this side is going to getting ready very soon. So this is already, already getting dry. So maybe we're going to start working into the darker color in here. So maybe have a little color over right here first. And the shadow right here. Okay, here you go. Now we're going to add the a little bit darker color. So now we're going to have the blue and the red color, and this the uh, the blue have a little bit. Actually, this dark color have a little bit more warmer. So I'm gonna have a little bit more uh, the red into it. This is good. This is very dark. Now I'm gonna take a look at which one is the darkest or the maybe the most prominent. So I'm gonna have this color, this one, coming down all the way in here, right? So I'm gonna have this all the way down over here. Like that, one brush, okay, that's good. Like, that's good, and then there's the next one. And right next to it, I'm gonna have a little bit blue, make a little bit, just a little bit different, just right from here, and going up, and most together, okay, here you go. And here you go, right there. Another one, and this, this is okay, this is good. And then, I'm gonna have this one, right here and coming up. I'm gonna have it from the top first. So you have the color will be a little bit weaker and then merge into the red color will make it look better. Here we go. I'm gonna have this and going to it here. That's good. Seeing that, that's a little bit more red and merge into it. That's good. And I'm gonna have one, it's just a little bit smaller. Right, that's good. And right here, right there, and coming in there. Okay, that's good. Okay, a little bit smaller. Here you go. A little bit bigger and bigger coming down. A little bit curve. And now you're coming down over here. Now you got a little bit more like a merge into the red. Can you see that? That's very beautiful. And that's good. And we're gonna continue with the couple over here. So you can 
you can simplify that. I'm going to have one over here. I'm going to mix a little bit more uh, pink, the red and the blue together. And also that is a little bit away from uh, the, the light. So this is, will be right here. Here we go. Like that. That's good. One. Be confident. That will be fine. I'm going to have one over here. Okay, that's good. Like that. I'm going to have a small one on the side over here. That's good. I'm going to have a little bit one on the side over here. And this is good. All right, since we have this dark color, I'm going to come on to this side as well. I'm going to have a little bit dark color right over here. That's a little bit darker line. Okay, right here. Look at it again. It's a little bit broken. Now coming down over here like that. So we're also going to have a little bit thin line. Here you go, a little bit thin line for a small tree. Okay. Like that. And have a little line coming up over here. Like that. And I'm going to have a little line coming over here too. Okay, very thin. Here you go. This is good. Like that. That's is getting more interesting. Now you can see is things actually come together more and more and more and more uh, clearly. Now I'm gonna have this just a little bit later. I'm gonna have that over here, a little bit thicker. Like that. Here you go. That like that. A little bit away. That's is good. Now I have a little bit line over here too, like that. And this have a little big thin line at the bottom over here. That's as good. And have now I'm gonna have a little bit little bit darker. Okay, here you go. Like that. A little bit line. And now we're gonna start adding some shape uh, tight together. So we're gonna start from under this side. Now I'm gonna mix a little bit green color. I'm gonna get the blue and get the yellow. Right? Now I'm gonna have that's a little bit too too bright, uh, too cool. So I'm gonna have a little bit red into it. That's as good. Here you go. Now I'm gonna have a little bit. So if you feel a little bit too bright, uh, that will be a good idea to have a little bit red, the uh, complementary color. And uh, here we go. Now I'm gonna open the brush like this. Here you go. And here we go. Now I'm gonna have that coming over here. Ooh, it may be too dark already connecting the, tr the tree trunk a little bit too much. Okay, here we go. Uh, connect that, I have a little bit darker. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit lighter, a little bit water, here you go. And keep in mind that it's still wet over here. There's something you might want to have a little bit softer, that'll be fine. That There's a little bit more clear. Okay, this is good, like that. And a little bit more, and here you go. Some are even showing at the front. So you want to put the water over here, it will actually push that away. Okay, yeah, so, so if make a little bit, um, uh, somewhere a little bit thicker, somewhere a little bit more. Uh, so I'm going to have a little bit yellow like that. I'm going to put it right on top of the tree. Okay. So this tree is still a little bit, uh, a little bit wet. So you can put a little color over there. It make it feel like oh, this is some a little bit uh, green leaves on top of that. It's by using the yellow with the water, and you can push that on. Okay, I'm gonna clean the brush. I'm gonna just the yellow color. Okay, you can see just the yellow maybe yellow or orange color. So you see that push that and but it's not really clear, but it's still push that in so you can see and yeah, so it's something at the front. And then seeing a lot of bit more layering. Okay, that's good. Like that. And that's pretty good. And break the shape a little bit. And like that. That looks as pretty nice. Now, 
I'm going to and to come in to have a little bit thinner line and the top over here too. So I'm going to have this and have a little bit line coming over. That's good, like that. That's good, right there. Have a little bit line, have a little bit branches coming through. Yeah, here you come. A little branches like that. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna continue over here. There's some branches coming down over here. Here you go. There we go. The step on it to so have a little bit shadow. There you go. A little bit line coming down. That's good. And here you go. I want to have just a little bit random shape. Okay, here you go. Now I'm going to have a little bit darker. So have a little bit darker color. Now I'm going to have uh, seeing the leaf over here. Now I'm going to see a little bit more leaf, depth, depth, coming out over here, like that. And something a little bit. Uh, Bigger area is just tap on it a little bit bigger. Like I see that. Okay, a little bit bigger. Here you go, like that. Here you go. Now we have some interesting uh, distraction right over there. So I'm not gonna. I'm going to have a little bit thicker right here. That's good. Like that. Okay. A little bit over here too. Okay. That's just very good. Now we're going to start adding our... Uh, let's do the bottom over here. We're going to make it a little bit darker first. Okay. I'm going to have a little bit more red. Yeah. I'm going to have this a little bit darker. Okay. Here you go. Like that. That give a little bit more. Here you go. That's just good. So if you like this kind of painting, this is a very um, wet into wet and and using getting more of the moved going. Okay. Just think about how to use wet into wet and wet on drive. And at a different at different time and different process, I think this is to, this side is already pretty good. Now we're coming onto this side. Now I'm gonna have this open up the brush a little bit, get a little bit more green color. So here you go, the yellow, and over here I'm gonna have that little bit, little bit green. Let's take a look. I'm gonna have a little bit green over here. I try to keep this side a little bit less uh, dark. So here you go. I'm going to have that. And now I'm going to have a little bit darker. So I'm going to get a little bit yellow into here. Now look a little bit darker. Get a little bit more red and the yellow. And now it's good. In the closer uh, temperature, that's just good. Now I'm going to have this. Here. Now I'm going to have this a little bit more clear edges. And here you go. There you go. That's a little bit darker. That's good. That's good. Let's organize that all together. And I'm going to see the little gap in the middle over here. That's, that's good. And after you have the dark and light color together, you're gonna see actually how that the illusion it would show the impression that that all the um, all the layers. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit more yellow and red. Here you go, a little bit more the orange color. Here you go, a little bit more orange like that. There you go. That's good. Okay. Like 
that that's pretty good that but try to make a little bit more organized okay here you go okay i'm gonna have a little bit brighter orange color here too here we go yes a little bit more red a little bit more yellow yes it's good okay okay so I'm a little line like that here you go it's a little bit orange color coming over here okay a little bit orange color over here too and I have a couple line this is good a little bit orange showing that over here too okay this is good tapping up okay that, that a little big shape now this is the important thing right there and going to be create the showing that uh, have a little bit more blue showing that that is just the trees but it's not going to be very dark but this could be good enough get a little bit more orange color in here so a little bit more red this is good a little bit like a light brown color but this is maybe already too big too dark so I'm gonna have this just use a little bit of water now I'm gonna take a look at the gap in here here you go are you seeing that this is the color of the tree the tree trunk right there I'm gonna have that coming down and here you go now I'm gonna use this the color and the value contrast you can see that there's a little bit in over here now you can see this tree actually showing the shape I'm gonna have this in a little bit and also on this side and here you go that's good and we have a little tree coming over here and here you go like that coming down a little bit softly and take a look at whether or not that is gonna to be too dark and we can always can make it a little bit lighter right so here you go like that it's good now uh, seeing the the gap right over there this is good I'm gonna have some a little bit lighter a uh, smaller tree you draw a little bit slower when you draw the tree don't draw too fast you draw too, too fast it doesn't look like the tree naturally okay here you go like that we don't have to draw too many okay like that some light light suggestions and see that that's very nice i'm gonna have a little bit over here i'm gonna have another one coming up and make it up okay like that i'm gonna have this tap a little bit tree there's you see this how this is organized connected together okay that will be become uh, the different distance showing the different perspective okay that's good like that coming in here now we're getting there a little bit closer and closer to the end of the painting okay that's good a little bit darker right here and here you go like that okay that's good I'm gonna have a little bit darker I'm gonna mix a little bit darker get the blue and the red color right this is good I'm gonna have just it's a little bit darker right in here there's a little bit dark color here you go like that that's another tree like that there's a little bit tree seeing that there now we put that into the gap like that that's as good okay here you go here you go and that's good and have you see the autumn color uh, from where you live and in Boston is very beautiful in this season and it's getting more and more beautiful as we are we are getting in more and more into the, the later later after uh, autumn so okay 
this is good I'm gonna take a look at that I'm gonna get a little big shape this is the gap you're seeing that inside um, that seeing through the inside okay here you go like that I'm gonna have a little bit orange color uh, here you go a little bit orange right here now that's just good a little bit I think this is very very a lot already okay and I'm gonna put that a little bit darker right in here you see that right in here yes a little bit darker and I'm gonna have a little bit darker uh, some a little leaf on the top over there you see I'm gonna have a feel like that I'm gonna have a little line coming over here too that's good got a little bit coming over here Okay, that's good. A little bit darker. Okay. Connect that into there. Okay, now we're going to do a little reorganizing. So, uh, the, 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 the distance over here looks just very nice. Oh, there's something over here. I'm going to also add to that too. I'm going to have a little bit yellow mix into here and some a little bit warmer i'm gonna have that a little bit dry brushes like over here i'm gonna have that a little bit clear shape right, here you go that's good like that i'm gonna have a little bit coming out over here and also a little bit more red okay a little bit more red because it's very close to the light sauce. That's good. Okay. Very nice. Now I'm going to have a little bit brighter yellow with the red. Okay. Here we go. Now I'm going to make this a little bit brighter. A little bit brighter. Okay. That's good. A little bit brighter, a little bit red, orange color. That's just good. Like that. That's very nice. Okay, a little bit brighter. And I'm going to have this also. A little bit texture. Like that. A little bit texture coming over here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove some color. I'm going to remove some color over here. I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. So, best way to use uh, the removing technique is just use this flat brush. You see that? This flat brush, 45 degree to the paper, and I can move this a little bit lighter. Okay? Just very easy to lift it up. Just take a look at the video, how to use this brush. Okay, here you go. Now make this a little bit lighter. Now I'm gonna have to reorganize the shape a lot better. Okay, here you go. And over here, I can also make it a little bit lighter. And make it lighter, the best the technique is just the lifting. Okay, take the color out. So if you want to have a little bit more yellow coming back, you just put the yellow in, and after you remove the color in the area, okay. Okay, I think that's getting there. Now we're ready to walk into the main object. So I'm going to um, take a look over here. We're going to take a look at in this area. Now we are ready to painting the main object and then we can finish the painting. Okay, all right, and there's some yellow color over here, and I'm gonna just add that just a little bit yellow orange color, and just add it to the gap over here, just for now. Okay, that's good. Like that. That's good. Now it looks like a part of the outside. Okay, and 
can soften this can soften that if you want so that's good now I'm going to looking at the bigger shade uh, it looks like this is a little bit more like a purplish this is look like a feel like a purple color let's get a little bit blue color and that's good now I'm going to put this shadow right over there that's good I'm going to keep the white. I also going to put a little bit more a um, little bit more uh, orange color. So I'm going to add a little orange color in here. So add a little bit orange color because affecting by the surrounding and uh, the all the areas around it is very orange. So I'm going to add that color in here. So also I'm going to put that little bit red orange color onto the lick over here. Okay, that's good. We're going to have a little bit shadow color. So now this also a little red orange color for the lick. There you go. Have a little bit light over there. That's very nice. I'm going to continue having the shadow under the arm over here. Okay, here you go. Like that. Nice. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to have the color also for the arm. The arm is very light. So I'm going to just have just a little bit this color. That's good enough with the water. Basically, this is uh, mostly uh, orange color with a little bit tiny, tiny blue. Okay. I'm going to only put it onto the shadow side. Like that. Okay. Onto this side. Here you go. This is good. The arm is now. I'm gonna come into take a look at the bright orange color here, and this is maybe good enough. Take a look at right over here, and we have some little bit darker and create a contrast. Okay, that's good. Coming down here like that. Okay, have a little bit here coming over. Okay, yes. and then coming a little bit darker, get the red with the blue color. That's plus and blue. Okay, that's good. That become very dark. Okay, here we go. Now I'll take a look at on this side. Keep your hand touching the wet paint. Okay, that's good. Like that. Coming in a little bit here. A little bit softer into each other. That will be fine. Take a look at the front over here. That's good. Okay. That's good. A little bit. And have a little bit strip up here. Coming out. Okay. That's good. Like that. Okay. Now I have a little big shadow over here. That's good. Like that. Now I'm going to take a look at the shoe. Also, similar color that the back over here has the shoe okay that's good now I'm gonna have a little bit darker a little bit more blue and here you go 
with the red. Okay, here you go. And I'm gonna have a little bit darker on the top and a little bit darker on the side. That's good. And also the shoe over here. Like that. That's pretty good. A little bit darker at the bottom over here. Okay. That's good. Under the arm, a little bit darker, right over there. Okay. And I'm almost getting it. So I'm going to have a little bit tiny, tiny shape. And here you go, right here. A little shape. A little big shape over here too. A little big shape on the back over here. That's good. And I'm going to have a little bit brighter blue color on the shoulder. I'm going to have that. A little bit cast shadow. That's good. Like that. That's very nice. Uh, I'm going to have the lick in the shadow, a little bit darker, so I'm going to get a little bit more orange color. And here you go. This can be a little bit darker. Right there. Also a little bit darker over here. That's good. Like that. Now I'm going to have a little bit cast shadow. Okay, a little bit cast shadow. And dip, dip, dip. Also showing the uh, the rough surface of the ground. Okay, like that. I'm gonna have that a little bit over here. Like that. Yeah, a little bit more. So this is, can be just the beginning of your painting. You can continue going back to to going back to develop a little bit more. I'm gonna have little bit color, little bit shape over here as well. Coming over here, coming up, and a little bit shape coming down. And now we can add even a little bit more detail coming up here. Okay, here you go. Okay, that's good. Like that. Okay, very nice. I'm gonna have just a little bit. There's a little bit darker over here. I like that, the orange effect onto this. Yeah, I'm gonna also gonna soften a little bit too much. I'm gonna have that a little bit softer coming up like that. Okay, looks pretty good. Now I'm going to take a look at the entire painting to see what else do we need to do to rebalance this. Okay. And I think that the painting already getting pretty good. Now we're going to take a look at and is that over here we're going to have a little bit softer color. And we're going to have just a little bit over there. I have a little bit softer. It's just a little bit orange, red, uh, kind of brownish color. So I'm going to put that right in here. Okay, now seeing that, just a little bit softer, like that. Get a little feeling of the distance. Okay, this is good. And I'm going to have just a little bit red, orange color. And redo this tree right here okay that's good like that and seeing that in the distance now i'm going to come back over here just step on it just have a little bit smaller shape and here you go and maybe a little bit more coming down over here just showing this tree coming down right here and here you go, still leave the gap, like that. Okay, that's good. Okay, I need to have a little bit darker and have this a little bit darker, showing that like a little big tree coming in here. Like that, seeing the gap. 
color would be over here too. Like that. And when I have this a little bit darker. Okay, this is good. Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna, if you need to, you can also start lifting the color, some of the things over here. For example, I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna leave that little bit shape over here. Uh, can I do that? You can use this brush to do that. Just use the corner like that, really, really sharp and see in the corner. And I'm gonna show you, just 45 degree and doing that one, seeing that, have a little bit shape coming off. It's very easy to do that as a little big shape. Just use a couple here. You can do that. I'll reorganize this. So you can have more texture if you want the texture a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna have that break this shape a little bit more. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, please put down to a comment and let me know. And then members on Zoom here, and we're gonna do a little bit more conversation. And if you have any questions, I can uh, talk it through to give you the answer, okay? Thank you very much for joining me for this demonstration. Looking forward to the next, next time. So if you have a moment, come to take a look at enjoying our on Patreon and take a look at what kind of benefit you can receive by being part of the community. Okay, I'm gonna have this a little bit more yellow. After this lifting up, you're gonna have a little bit more softer, brighter color. I'm gonna see this. This is pretty good. And thank you.